the Nigerian brothers. Are the Nigerian brothers, John Nigerian and Pete Nigerian, legitimate? David Jaffe with BestStockStrategy.com. You can visit BestStockStrategy.com, enter in your email address and receive over $400 of valuable free options trading materials. In this video, I'm going to provide you with my opinion on whether the Nigerian brothers are legitimate. There's also going to be additional information that I'm going to include from reviews and other things that I want you to take into account. In my opinion, the Nigerian brothers are not legitimate, but at the same time, I definitely do not believe that they are scam artists or frauds. They built up a business, I believe it was Trade Monster, which they then sold to a larger brokerage, so they are successful businessmen. However, at the same time, I definitely do not believe that the advice that they provide to people is going to help those people and those followers make money. In fact, I actually believe that the advice that they provide would actually cause people to lose money. They encourage people to buy options, which is a horrible strategy because it essentially encourages people to buy lottery tickets and the probability of profit is substantially negative. Additionally, they encourage people to utilize technical analysis. So for these two reasons, I definitely believe that the Nigerian brothers are not providing sound advice. And I also believe that virtually everyone who follows the advice of the Nigerian brothers are going to lose money. I have been contacted by a few people via email and they provided me with some anecdotal stories of them going to conferences and then being hard sold into programs from the Nigerian brothers that cost anywhere from 10 to $20,000. These programs encourage people to buy options and use technical analysis. In my opinion, the Nigerian brothers are leveraging their platform on CNBC in order to market these programs at these conferences that in my opinion are completely bogus because I believe that the followers who are roped into these conferences and who enroll in the programs that are sponsored by the Nigerian brothers are going to lose money because they are going to be buying options and using technical analysis. So again, in my opinion, I believe that the Nigerian brothers are leveraging their platform from CNBC and leveraging their fame in order to sell people what I perceive to be bogus programs that are going to cause people who enroll in these programs to lose money. David Jaffe with BestStockStrategy.com. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts about the Nigerian brothers. Again, it is very important to remember that these people are not frauds, they're not scam artists. They did build a legitimate business which was then sold to a larger brokerage, but right now I am simply judging them based upon do they have valuable information that they can share with their followers to help their followers actually make money. And the response to that question, in my opinion, is that no, they do not, because I believe that people who enroll in their program and follow their trading system from John and Pete Nigerian are going to end up losing money. David Jaffe with BestStockStrategy.com. Leave a comment below. I respond to everyone's comments and let me know your thoughts on John and Pete Nigerian and whether you believe that they are legitimate or whether you believe that they are simply trying to sell a bogus product. Here's a website that John and Pete Nigerian have been pushing hard. It's called Market Rebellion at marketrebellion.com. Now on the one hand, I have a lot of respect for John and Pete Nigerian because they started Option Monster and Trade Monster. And Trade Monster is or was a legitimate brokerage and it was bought out. I think it was tucked into Options House, which was later acquired in a strategic acquisition by E-Trade. So John and Pete Nigerian are extremely wealthy. They're probably worth anywhere from 50 to $100 million. And I view them in a similar light to how I look at Tom Sosnoff in that they're entrepreneurs and they build businesses. Now, while Tom Sosnoff went on to found Tasty Trade and Tasty Works, 
and he's a big proponent of selling options, it seems like John and Pete Nigerian are encouraging their followers to buy options. And to me, that's a big problem because anytime you try to buy insurance and you try to buy speculative assets with the hope of making money from it, the expected payoff is going to be negative. So yes, it's true, you might swing at a random pitch and you might end up hitting a home run, but the longer you play and the longer you actually buy options, the higher the probability is that you're going to lose money because the expected outcome every single time you buy options is always going to be negative. And I know that many people are going to disagree with me, but I definitely do not believe that any technical analysis or anything of that nature is going to substantially increase your odds to the point where buying options is going to be profitable. And this is my main problem with John and Pete Nigerian in that they encourage their followers to buy lottery tickets and to try to hit a home run, which in my opinion is going to cause virtually all of their followers to lose money. And I'm kind of surprised that John and Pete Nigerian, who are potentially worth 25 to 50 to $100 million, are going to lead their followers to potentially lose money because that's the expected outcome when you buy options. You are going to lose money. Now, a big red flag is that they're also heavily involved in cryptocurrency. You can see right here, they have crypto, crypto, crypto news, education, videos, etc. So in any case, Market Rebellion, I do definitely have a lot of respect for John and Pete Nigerian. I have less respect for them than I have for Tom Sosnoff because Tom Sosnoff, I believe that he has very good intent. And even though I don't agree with Tom Sosnoff's strategy in that he encourages his followers to trade often and to keep negative delta. I definitely believe that Tom overall has good intent, where I definitely do question the intent of John and Pete Nigerian. I'm not sure whether they have simply gone soft or whether they've gone through some bad times and they really need the money and they have bad spending habits. But in any case, I can tell you that buying options is an extremely easy way to lose money. And obviously I've never seen any of their trading statements. And I definitely believe that they are not profitable traders because buying options has a negative expected value. It's a really easy way to lose money. I don't see their trading statements on here at all. I don't see, I mean, look, they have some self-reported trades, which in my opinion is complete bullshit. All right, I'm gonna email them right now and ask them for their trading statements. So I'm on their contact form and I obviously do not see any trading statements from John and Pete Nigerian and I'm sending in the contact form request so that I can obtain a screen recording or their trading statements to see whether they are consistently profitable traders. In my opinion, I believe that they are losing traders and I believe that they do not make money by trading options. So this is what I wrote them. Buying options has a negative expected outcome can you provide me with your full trading statements or a screen recording from a legitimate brokerage so that I can see your performance prior to purchasing? Thanks. And thanks for contacting us. All right, great. So I sent the message and I'll keep you updated and let you know whether they send me their full trading statements or a screen recording that shows all of their trades. In my opinion, John and Pete Nigerian are not successful traders. I believe that everyone who follows John and Pete Nigerian are going to lose money. And in my opinion, the reason why they will lose money is because they encourage their followers to buy options, which is an extremely easy way to lose money. So here we have the Nigerians and we have their book on Amazon. You can see some of the reviews. A lot of people call it a scam. They say you can't unsubscribe unless you call and nobody ever answers or gets back to you. Waste the time and money. Not enough substance here. A little piece of crap. Pretty much what a lot of people do is they will, a lot of these fake gurus, they'll use a book as a lead generation device just to get and capture your information. And then they won't put anything in the book of value as someone's a terrible book and a waste of time and money. Instead, what they'll do is they'll incessantly market themselves in the book and use it as marketing materials in order to sell you and to upsell you into a very expensive course or something like that. 
Uh, this person said that it's not worth 10 cents. You can learn everything in the book elsewhere. Beware usual scam tactics. So KG on Amazon called this a scam. Uh, Ranger Chris said, don't waste your time and money. Um, a lot of people said, be careful. Or one person said, be extremely careful dealing with them. This book is meant to get you into their education program. So then I had to call the credit card company to stop charges. They ran the dispute process and lied to the credit card company about my status. So it looks like they're playing some games with the credit card. That could actually get them in trouble with the FTC. This book is disappointing, or it's a disappointment in addition to the criticism below. It is clear that there's a lack of effort. Telemarketer employees, these guys are on the Fast Money TV show. They tell you about unusual activity they see in a certain stock, but by the time you check it out, it's too late. So pretty much they use this as an upsell in order to get you into extremely expensive and what I perceive to be overpriced coaching, which as I've detailed earlier, does not work and is going to cause their followers to lose money. Here it says, just scan through the reviews here and then buy a better book than this. Again, as I said, I, I believe that this book is filled with just marketing materials and that there's nothing of substance or value in this book. I'm sure the Nigerians are nice to hang with. But their options monster website is a well-oiled machine to make money on options, your money. The book is a sales tool in that business model along with their appearance on CNBC. I mean, this person essentially mirrors exactly what I'm saying. What a terrible, simplistic book. Horrible. I could give zero stars. I would, etc. So I would highly recommend that you stay away from the Nigerians.